Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Obama secretly paid $972,000 to law firm for horrifying reason. Truth out now and it's not good. Since April of 2016, Obama's campaign organization has paid almost a million dollars to a law firm that in turn funneled money to Fusion GPS. And it could be a lot more for all we know. These are the guys who compiled the Steele dossier against President Trump. Obama for America, OFA, has shelled out $972,000 to Perkins Quay according to the Federal Election Commission, FEC. The Washington Post broke the story in late 2017. The fact that Obama secretly paid that much money to firms to dig up dirt on Trump so he would not win the election is stunning. The fact that they concocted false allegations is even worse. And Obama has not had to answer for it yet. The reason behind all this was to assure that Hillary Clinton was elected and that the threat of Trump was eliminated. Obama's law firm was directed by both the Democratic National Committee DNC, and Hillary Clinton's campaign to retain Fusion GPS in April 2016. It only seems to get worse from that point forward. Fusion GPS hired Christopher Steele, a former British spy, to compile the dossier proving once and for all that Trump and his campaign had colluded with the Russians. The made-up allegations included prostitutes in Russia and golden showers encounters. Anyone who knows President Trump knows that he is averse to germs, so that salacious claim is just ridiculous. None of it was proven because none of it is true. The collusion here was between Obama. Hillary Clinton and the DNC and what they did was illegal in the extreme despite what the talking heads say. Lawyers for Steele admitted in court filings that his work was not verified and was never meant to be made public. That's not exactly true though, Steele meant for it to go public and John McCain hand-delivered the dossier to the FBI himself. Obama spent nearly $800,000 in 2016 alone on the law firm to go after Trump. The first 2016 payments to Perkins Quay classified only as legal services, were made April 25 to 26, 2016, and totaled $98,047. Then there was a second wave of payments that were also classified as legal services and were dispersed to the law firm on September 29, 2016. They totaled exactly $700,000. Payments from OFA through August of 2017 totaled $174,725. Perkins Quay was being paid a ton of money to sabotage a political opponent in Obama's version of America. According to the Federalist, FEC records as well as federal court records show that Mark Elias, the Perkins Quay lawyer whom the Washington Post reported was responsible for the payments to Fusion GPS on behalf of Clinton's campaign and the DNC, also previously served as a counsel for OFA. In Shamblin v. Obama for America, a 2013 case in federal court in Florida, Federal court records list Elias as simultaneously serving as lead attorney for both OFA and the DNC. OFA, which managed Obama's successful re-election campaign in 2012, retooled after that campaign to focus on enacting the president's agenda during his final term in office. The group reorganized again after the 2016 election and planned to use its staff and resources to oppose President Donald Trump. During the entire 2016 campaign cycle, the group spent only $4.5 million according to FEC records. Federal records show that Hillary Clinton's official campaign organization, Hillary for America, paid just under $5.1 million to Perkins Quay in 2016. The DNC paid nearly $5.4 million to the law firm in 2016. The timing and nature of the payments to Perkins Quay by Obama's official campaign arm raised significant questions about whether OFA was funding Fusion GPS how much Obama and his team knew about the contents and provenance of the dossier long before its contents were made public, and whether the president or his government lieutenants knowingly used a partisan political document to justify official government actions targeting the president's political opponents named in the dossier. According to The Washington Post, Fusion GPS was first retained by Perkins Quay on behalf of the Democratic National Committee DNC, and Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign in April of 2016. The relationship between Obama's campaign and Perkins Quay is far too cause, to say the least. And this is where more players come into the mix. The spouse of one of Fusion GPS leading employees was working directly for Obama in the West Wing. Shayla Murray, a former Washington Post reporter turned political operative, was serving as a top communications advisor to Obama while the Obama administration was reportedly using information from the dossier to justify secret surveillance of Trump campaign staff. Murray is married to Neil King, a former Wall Street Journal reporter who was hired by Fusion GPS in December of 2016. While at the Wall Street Journal, 
King worked alongside Fusion GPS' primary team, even sharing bylines with Glenn Simpson, the Fusion GPS executive who personally hired Steele to probe Trump's alleged Russia connections. Not only were there big players from the media, there were others with connections directly to the Department of Justice and the FBI digging stuff up on Trump. Obama was briefed on the dossier and so was then-President-elect Trump. BuzzFeed eventually published the dossier in its entirety on January 10, 2017. Comey was briefed on the allegations as well. Steele admitted in court filings that he had shopped much of the information in his dossier to numerous media outlets beginning in September of 2016. And the rumors spread like wildfire. Fusion GPS is being accused of illegally acting as an undisclosed agent of foreign governments. They have faced multiple congressional inquiries into their activities and their clients. Bill Browder whose attorney was allegedly murdered by Russian authorities after publicizing explosive allegations of Russian fraud and money laundering, alleged in congressional testimony that Fusion GPS was paid by Russians to undermine U.S. sanctions against the country. That would not surprise me in the least and is almost assuredly true. Fusion GPS bank records have been subpoenaed by the feds and that ties them to Clinton, the DNC and OFA. Following reports of Perkins Coie's role in retaining Fusion GPS, the Campaign Legal Center, a nonpartisan campaign finance watchdog, filed a complaint with the FEC alleging that the secret funding schemes violated federal campaign disclosure laws. They are also facing a defamation suit in federal court related to claims in the dossier. The plaintiffs are three Russian businessmen. The ruling in that suit stated that BuzzFeed could claim the fair report privilege for its brief article in the accompanying release of the dossier online in January 2017. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley, Arya, says that Fusion GPS founder Glenn Simpson's testimony to the committee was extremely misleading, if not an outright lie. Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton might be getting nervous. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.